Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. All right. I had a four and one week last week. We went four and one. Um, obviously we lost some money on Zhang, but we hit we went, we made money on everything else. That includes the draw uh, with Bull and Vargas because uh, we you know, we we put most of our bet on the fight going the distance and hitting the over, uh, and that obviously hit for us. All right. Um. All right, let's get into today's show. Today's show is going to be about William Zapata and Maxi Hughes. Really interesting fight on a Golden Boy card. I'm really into this fight, so I, I want to get into this. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes out to you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house. So we were 14 and 3. We are 18 and 4 the last five weeks. 18 and 4. There's no one else that can that can do it like that. 18 and 4. There's no one else out there. We are the number one boxing gambling advisor in the world. Uh, so join the Patreon for the Patreon. Just five dollars a month allows me to do this full time, bringing you guys videos for every single major fight. You, the Patreon allows you to uh, get the lock of the week, which hit again, of course. Um, the lock of the week always hits. This is like easy for me at this point. Um, but you get you can ask me to handicap any fight. I'll break it down for you. You get the free T-shirt. You get a ton of cool perks. So join the Patreon. Just five dollars a month. Uh, so some show some support. Also subscribe to the channel Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All right, let's get into this fight. William Zapetta. Um, I'm a huge William Zapetta guy. I, I think Zapetta. Outside of, I think, two guys in uh, well, Tank. And other than that, I don't know of anyone else. Maybe, yeah, you know, I was going to say Shakur. I don't know. I, I think uh, Zapata might be able to track down Shakur. Uh, I think that highly of William Zapata. He's, he's beaten guys in a variety of styles. Uh, and he didn't just beat guys. He, he annihilated them. He's got wins over uh, Hester, Joseph Diaz, Hector Tanahara. He's got a ton of good wins. He he emerged on, with a win over uh, Roberto Ramirez on on the uh, Ring City USA card during the COVID pandemic. Uh, that was over three years ago now, and he hasn't disappointed. He's 29 0 25 knockouts. Southpaw, high guard, comes forward heavy on the front foot, throws hard, thudding combinations. Good with the kind of left hand too. Throws a nice straight counter left hand. Super accurate with it. He mixes his head and body really well. Offensively, he's just a beast. Like uh, Offensively on the inside, he's a great body puncher. He's ferocious. He's relentless. He doesn't stop. He doesn't give you a break. He just completely overwhelms you from the start of the fight. And he's, hits, he's hitting you hard. He's hitting you from angles. He's not... Defensively, I mean, offense is his best defense. He throws 100 to 120 punches around sometimes, a lot of times. He takes a good shot. You know, he is what he is. He's not going to sit there and make you miss. He's coming after you. He's coming to hurt you. He's coming to break you down. He's coming to weigh you down. He's going to overwhelm you with 100 to 120 hard-thrown shots. He's just so hard to deal with. He's so incredibly difficult to deal with. He's got a tremendous gas tank, and his hand speed is solid. He's not one of these slower guys like Margarito. His, his hand speed is okay. You know, obviously, his head's on a line. He's not much defensively. He's not difficult to hit. But you he, you can't get him off of you. He's 5'9". 5'9 is fairly tall for 135. He's long. He's southpaw. He's not going to be... the flashiest guy in the world. You're going to tell me he's not the most skilled guy in the world. I'm going to disagree with you. He's relentless. He's ferocious. And he just, you can't get a break from him. He's going to be a really tough guy to beat. And I really like Max Hughes. I think Max Hughes is a very good fighter. He's got no chance in this fight. Stylistically, it's all wrong for him. Max Hughes is a guy that likes to come in and out. He comes in and out really, really well. Throws nice, crisp, clean combinations. There's nothing on him, right? Like, he can win rounds. He can't win rounds with this guy. 
He's not going to be able to keep him off of him. Max uses a guy that needs to stay off the ropes, needs to use the center of the ring. He's not going to be able to keep Zepeda off of him. Zepeda's a gnat. He's going to swarm you and swarm you and swarm you. He's on you. It's going to break him down. And he's going to walk through Max Hughes' shots. Max Hughes has a record of 26 6 and 2 with five knockouts. He doesn't hurt anyone. He doesn't hurt your feelings. That's going to be a major problem when he steps in with Zepeda because he's not going to be able to keep Zepeda off of him. Tanahara couldn't. Tanahara hits harder than Max to use. Tanahara is just as skilled and crafty as Max to use. Had no chance. And, and that's what I'm saying. Like, Zepeda's going to stop him. It's just kicking. He's a wrecking ball. And Hughes is, is a craftsman, a skilled fighter, good fighter. I thought he beat Cambosis. I think Max Hughes is good. He's no pop of note. No pop of note. He's got good jab. He's got good movement. He's a high IQ guy. Just from a skill perspective, he's good. But it, it's like, you know, God didn't bless him with the talent you want in a world championship fighter. Right? He doesn't have speed. He doesn't have power. He doesn't have great athleticism. He's just got good skills. Like, he's just been trained to fight, but it's not going to be enough. He's predominantly a back foot guy. He's pretty decent at making you miss, but none of this is going to be enough against a guy like Zepeda. You know, one thing I see that Maxi does really well is catch and shoot. It's going to be obliterated in this fight. Right? Like, it's not going to matter because, you know, it, it, Zepeda doesn't throw two, three shots. He just keeps throwing and throwing and throwing until you can't catch and shoot because the shots don't stop. He's got a really educated jab, and he's going to land it, and he's going to land it, and Zepeda's going to march forward and hit him in the body and break his ribs. Right? Like it's, it's going to be that kind of night, you know, where you're just going to show flashes of skills. It's not going to do him any good. Um, you know, if, if you want to see how this fight's going to go, go watch the. Heck, a ton of horror fight. We're going to look at the odds. Let's take a look at the odds now. The odds, I thought were surprising, figuring everyone loves Cambosis, and I thought he beat Cambosis. He got the short end of a close decision. I, I thought he was one to fight. The pet is at minus 1,100. Um, we we'll put him in at times two. It's going to make us 20 bucks. I'm completely confident in this. We're going to work this into the, the parlay for the lock of the week. Uh, when the odds come out for stoppage, he's going to stop him. I, I, I look at that. You know, I'm not necessarily advising it depending on what the odds are, but I would imagine they're going to be decent. Um, so it's simple. That's all we got. There's no there's no props. There's no over-under. It's just a money line. It's easy. It's William Zepeda times two. So Zepeda is going to break this guy. And I like Max Hughes. I just think it's a terrible fight for him. I think they could have matched him better. I think Golden Boy has done a tremendous job here. I, I really do. I think that, you know, people respect Max Hughes, and stylistically, it's just all wrong for him. He's going to get annihilated, and it's going to boost up Zepeda. So I think Golden Boy did a good job there. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. That's all we got on this one is Zepeda on the money line. Uh, so it's a $200 bet gonna make you 20 bucks that's it you know i, I think I, I don't if i was handicapping this i'd make the pet about minus seven 750 they went 1100 i can't fault them for it it's really why i just think uses getting a little disrespected by the bookies here he shouldn't really be a minus 1100 to anyone he just beat cambosis i thought i know he didn't get the decision uh, but leave your thoughts, comments below. Follow the box of bookie. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description, guys. The link is in the description for the Patreon. Get the lock of the week. Right? Uh, you can ask me anything. You get a free T-shirt. You get a ton of perks. Um, I put everything in the description. Uh, the link is in the description. Also, follow me on Texas Boxing. See, remember, we don't gamble here, but if we do, I always use DraftKings. Can't even use DraftKings in Texas. As you can see, I can't even log in uh, because I'm in the wrong state. Uh, but if, if you do gamble on sports, if you do gamble on boxing, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money, how to bring down the house consistently. Uh, we make money every single week. Like I said, 14 and 3 over the – I'm sorry. That was before 14 and 3. 18 and 4 over the last five weeks. There's no one else who can give you a return like that. I'm one of one. Like, 
follow, subscribe, join the Patreon. Also follow the channel Texas Boxing Scene. It is March 10th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.